All right, guys, what is up? We have a lot in store today. Today, I go and test drive that G37, and I get new tires put on the G35, so let's get into it. Okay, so our first pit stop for the day is going to be getting some tires put on this car. As you can see, they're right behind me right here. Um, I am getting them done at Walmart because I just want them done as quick as possible and as cheap as possible. And a lot of places are getting ready to close and pretty booked. I called around four or five places that were pretty close to here and they just didn't have anyone. So i am got fingers crossed that there's a technician at Walmart that can do it in a timely manner but I'm not getting my hopes up. So if not, we are going to jump to the G37. All right, so we did just make it to the dealer. It is cold outside. That is one thing I was not prepared for. But we are going to go look at the G37 now. It is currently 1.15 in the afternoon and I have not slept yet because I work night shift but I probably should have been asleep a long time ago. So I'm going to try and make this pretty quick. Um, I don't have anyone to record for me, so hopefully the guy that sits with me while I drive it will record for me, but if not, I'll just give you guys my honest review. All right, this is definitely a little weird for me. I guess they just uh, let you take it. Nobody rides with you. <laughs> I guess, I mean, obviously they, they know who I am at this point. And you know, if I take the car, it's kind of, you know, but we'll get the first push start. Very quiet. Ooh, that steering wheel is all the way down. I'm gonna do a little bit, little bit of adjustments here and then we are going to take it for a little test drive quick. Okay, so I've got you guys set up on the dash now. Remember, always buckle up. The buckle does indeed work. Um, got about a quarter tank of gas in it. I'm gonna let it run for a second because I know how VQs and VHRs and stuff are. You gotta let the oil run through it a minute. I will say that they have uh, really nice WeatherTech floor mats in this, and my feet glide right off of them. So I can tell they put some kind of coating or something on them. But since I am taking it for a test drive and nobody owns it right now, I am going to get it comfortable to uh, me. Got the steering wheel up as far as I can, knee still hits it. It's in as far as it can be, it's still too close. The seat is as far back as it can be and I'm still a little close. I will admit these cars do feel quite a bit smaller than the G35s actually to be 100% honest. But we are going to take it on a test drive now. It does feel very weird that there's nobody with me. So I suppose we will just uh, move. Obviously, I'm used to driving a lowered car, so this isn't anything new to me. Oh, brakes are touchy. Don't scrape, don't scrape, don't scrape. All right. Yo, this is weird. I don't know where they want me to test drive it to. I don't know anything. That turn signal is out. That is noted. Right, we are moving. Oh, transmission is fast. Kind of clunky though. How are the downshifts? This transmission doesn't feel super pretty. I don't want to beat on it. It's not my car. I don't want to do any of the above. I don't know if you guys can hear it, there's noise in the front end up there. I don't remember if these are six speed or not. 
So if you go and drive, you get sixth gear. They won't let you do that in manual mode and drive sport or whatever it is. But it does have front end noise. Uh, the steering, steering is very direct. Uh, the transmission makes some funny noises and feelings. Downshift. Hit another downshift. Turn in here so I can turn around. Gas pedal is kind of a hard thing to find on this car too. But I will admit the steering does feel very nice. Alright. So this is a plus. Please don't turn in at me. And I'm not in the mood to wreck a dealership car right now. <laughs> I will admit it is a very, very, very nice car. But just the way it sounds right now, it would definitely need some work. There's something loose in the front end. I am aware of that at the current moment. Let me get out of here. But it accelerates smooth. See that? It shifted so hard on partial throttle that it literally turned the camera. So the transmission is definitely a concern to me in this car. We'll just drive it in drive mode. It has 127,665 miles and it has a 14,900 mile trip. But I can feel the car chugging a little bit as it's attempting to accelerate. A heated seat works very well. Might have a warped rotor or something because when I press the brakes, I can feel like a wom 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 in them. But other than that, the car feels very nice. The seats are very comfortable. Like I said, the steering, the steering is very, very, very nice. But uh, I don't think personally, I would be interested in this specific car. I just don't think that it's quite it. Okay, so my camera shut off. It might have just reached its limit of recording. But uh, like I said, it, I just don't think it's the right car for me. It is beautiful. I will admit the interior is just beautiful. Like I really I really love the screen. I really do like the steering wheels on these. And I would totally go for a carbon steering wheel because they look way cooler. I've always loved the dashes on them. I've always loved the look of the push button on them. The new heated seat controls is kind of weird to me. But for the most part, I do really like the car, but I just don't think this is the one for me. It's just, if I'm gonna pay, if I'm gonna pay $12,000 for one, even financing, um, I would like it to have probably sub 100,000 miles on it, uh, probably damn near perfect paint, and uh, definitely not a transmission that shifts so hard that it one threw me back in my seat on just not even quarter throttle and it spun the camera on the dash which is a pretty good indicator to me that the car is has something wrong in the transmission and uh, it's just not good all bad all bad but sadly I am going to have to pass on this car uh, I was going to talk to them there is a Chrysler 300 SRT8 over there I was going to talk to him if I could drive that too, so I will be back with you on that one. And we now have the keys to the Chrysler SRT8. We're going to give this a little bit of a go. My goal is to not smack the door against anything. Okay, right off the bat, I will be honest, way bigger and honestly, a way more comfortable car. So let's give it a automatic things it's crushing me oh yeah right off the bat though there's a tire that is losing air I can see it it is literally telling me it's losing air um, kind of a rough idle honestly also has heated seats and turn this radio down uh, we're gonna let this warm up for a second more too and then I will come back to you guys but this seems a little more my forte I will say I do love the suede here and the SRT embroidering here. The interior of this car itself is actually a lot cleaner. 
they've got the the fake carbon fiber here my heated seat is already warm I do like the floor mats as well just a nice black they're nice and carpet my feet don't slip more fake carbon fiber up on the dash here it does also have a pretty big touchscreen radio as well too but my only problem is there's a truck in my way right now and I'm hoping I fit out of here but this one has a hundred and sixteen thousand four hundred and seventy eight miles and if you can see right there it's got a low tire pressure so we will see how this goes but I actually am very excited to drive this okay so you are back on the dash again and uh, in this car the dash is absolutely fucking massive so I cannot take you for a drive with it sitting up there because I will dump the camera immediately it's sitting about the same distance from me as it was in the G37 and it was touching the windshield in the G37 and the windshield still about a foot and a half away in this car this car is massive I can, I can put my arm out this way and not even touch the, the other side of the car but we are going to see if I can escape out of here real fast without hitting any vehicles. That is my only concern. Pretty positive, like I said, I won't get it back in there the way they had it. But I am going to, first of all, buckle up. Second of all, I can say that the brakes in this car, not near as good as the G37. Like, not even close. Um, that's funky. A little bit of a creek going on. Oh. Big car. Very big car. I will be honest. Gas pedal's not near as touchy as well either. And... My woman is calling me. I will get back to you. Okay, so initial impressions. It is, uh, it's different. Put it back in drive. It is very different. It's a very big car. It's very quiet. It's super steady on the highway. It's actually crazy to me. And, uh, said I'm not really gonna beat on it I'm not doing anything like that transmission feels great suspension feels great there's absolutely no clunks it's a very quick car it sounds very good I love the look of it I don't know the price of it and that scares me <laughs> but this would be very cool um, they just tell me to take it for as long as I want and to do whatever I want in it and uh, it just makes me a little uncomfortable it's very weird but I'm going to return it back to the dealership now and I'm actually going to ask the price because I love this car and I know my friend Sig if he's watching this he would love if I got this car my dad would love if I got this car it is a 6.1 liter Hemi I don't know the year of the car exactly or any of the above but it has a slap shifter for the automatic like I said it is the whoa, it is the SRT 8 version so it is the cool car but this is very big compared to what I'm used to, and it is so comfortable. But I will say, right off the bat, the radio is not good. But if we threw a good radio in this car with some good speakers, you know, lowered it on some Hellcat wheels, did a little bit of suspension so it handled better and wasn't such a body roll car, I would love it. This car would be absolutely beautiful, and it, it just drives so nice. Like, I can, I can take my hands off the steering wheel, and the car just drives straight. So he's an arrow. Um, I really do love it. Um, like I said, I'm going to ask the price. Probably shouldn't be, and my bank account is screaming at me not to. But I'm going to. I'm going to. So the most crucial thing I forgot in this entire process is the fact that I am still 18 years old and considered a child in the state of Nebraska. So, that doesn't really work out well for me. Considering the fact that I want to do an I just got looked at by everyone because I'm holding a camera like an idiot Considering the fact I want to do an auto loan It's basically impossible for me being not 19 and I do not have a previous uh, 
car payment per se so it would be impossible he was like even if you came in here at the age of 25 with a 760 credit score you will not get this car because you will not be approved for it i was like ah that kind of sucks so uh we are just going to have to cut our losses there which kind of blows and I'm sure if I came here, it was 15980 or something. So I'm sure if I came here the end of the month when I'm 19, because they won't even sell the car to me if I'm not 19. Came here the end of the month while I'm 19 with $16,000 in cash, which wouldn't be possible, first of all. Then I'd get the car. But I cannot finance the car under the age of 19, even with... I have a pretty good credit score, so even with a good credit score, I cannot do it because I do not have a previous auto loan, which kind of blows, but uh, I really loved that Chrysler SRT8. I will, it absolutely tanked the G37. Um, I actually like my G35 way more than I liked that G37. It just felt laggy. Like, it honestly feels like this. my G35 would have outran it. It was just outright doggish and slow, and the transmission didn't feel good. So that was uh, no bueno, we cut that off. And then the SRT8, fast, first of all. I didn't pass anything past half throttle and it was already faster than the current car I'm sitting in right now. Um, second, super comfortable, super spacious. I didn't feel cramped, it was, the seats hugged me real nice, they're really big. Uh, my only complaint is obviously it's a really big car. It's basically a Dodge Charger SRT8. It's a really, really, really big car. But that being said, we are going to go try to get these fat meaty boys put on the G35 today, and I will see you at the tire shop. All right, so this is the old place I went to school where teachers told me I was absolutely worthless. So we're gonna give them a little pull. Just to let them know that I probably make more money than they do. And just to preface that statement, in Nebraska, they are considered school teachers and not high school teachers. So they get 25 to 52K per year. And high school teachers get 37 to 85K per year. And I'm sure to get the 85K per year, you have to know a lot more than just how to teach your class. But it says that's high school. But regardless, 25 to 52,000 dollars a year. So people, AKA teachers, will go to school for four to six years to make the same money that I made only having to have a GED. Okay, so we are home now and Walmart didn't have any of its technicians in, neither did Advanced Tire Auto or Square Tire or Freeway Car Care, so I just gave up at that point. But there is one little thing I wanted to show you before I did exit out the video, and that is let me get the lights on for you. Give you a little look at the lights here. My carbon fiber spoiler for the G35. It won't sit flat because of the curvature of the trunk, but as you can see, it is indeed real carbon fiber for anyone that tries to hate on me for this. Because I know so many people love the sport wing on the car and I really don't like it, but we have a beautiful duckbill spoiler for the car. And, whoa. I am very, very, very excited about it. And I hope you guys are too, because this car is making a huge transformation. Um, after the spacers and the tires get put on with the wing, and I have a front lip coming as well and a few other little things, and then the car gets wrapped, it is going to be a completely different car. Like, I can't even explain to you how different it is going to be. But, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was kind of just a casual kickback day of me test driving a few cars and driving around and whatnot. But, I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know, once again, if you guys like the new quality of the camera and the audio. Let me know if there's anything I should change, if I should upgrade the mic or whatever. Please just let me know. But, peace out, and I will see you guys in the next video.